Hello, guys. How's it going? Hey, Ricardo. How are you, man? All right. And uh, yes, Francisco, I, I received your, your message. Um, thanks for being here early, guys. Uh, so, Nuri, welcome. How, how was your day? Thank you. Uh, I'm happy today, teacher. You're happy today? Why? What happened? <laughs> yeah, because it's raining. I yeah. love it. I, yeah, I love, I love the rain too, you know. I really like it. Um, I love I love it when it rains at night, you know. It's uh, really, yeah. Because really cool. yeah, then you know it's it's easier to sleep, you know. It's not hot, so it's. it's I don't of... because I got wet. Oh yeah, all yeah. the way. Home. <laughs> <laughs> the the only bad thing, right, is that uh, if you ride a motorcycle, then you run into um, a chance of getting wet, right? Right. So um, so yeah um anyway so um jenny welcome jenny how are you how was your day today Hi. good evening good evening we have a, a heavy day and stressful day too tired are you tired yes <laughs> i am tired <laughs> well try to try to relax during the class <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. But I want more English. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Thank you for being so responsible, even if you're, you know, you're tired. Um, and welcome. Uh, Oscar, Thank how you. are you, man? How was your day today? My day was very good. All right. What do you do? What do you do today? Work all, all the day. <laughs> Work. Well, what is it that you do for a living? I um uh I don't know how I can say bodeguero. <laughs> for the what? Bodeguero, that's what I say. For the ghetto. Bodeguero. Uh type it in, okay, because I'm not really sure what you're talking about. <laughs> Guys, he right. works in a warehouse. warehouse. Oh, okay. Oh he works in he works at a warehouse. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right, guys. So, um, so today, guys, we're gonna have our grammar class, but also, guys, we're gonna go over the platform today, okay? Um, just FYI, guys. All right. So uh, we have the midterm, guys. So section, you know, section three, and the midterm should have been uh, should have been finished by now, okay? So uh, just FYI, guys. Just for your information, okay? La sección 3, guys, y el midterm ya tienen que estar terminados, ¿ok? So, anyways, uh, so we're going to go over the answers from section 3 and the midterm today, ¿ok? All right, guys, so, so uh, we have a warm-up today, guys. Uh, we're going to go over grammar and we're going to have practice at the end, ¿ok? So, today, guys, you will learn how to use models, and actually, not only models, guys, but... Um, if clauses and gerunds, guys, to make requests, okay? To make formal and sometimes informal requests, okay? So that's what we're gonna go through today. So let's watch the video, guys, and tell me, tell me, um, tell me what are, okay, I want you to take a look at the phrases that they're using, guys, to make requests, okay? Quiero que vean las frases que ellos usan para hacer requests, um, Polite requests, okay? All right. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> uh, hi, Megan. 
Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. <laughs> What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay, all right. So, guys, as of right now, guys, what are the requests that we've heard so far? Let's break down the video, guys. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What is the first request? Write it down in your notebook, okay? I want you to write it down, guys. What is the first request that she's asking? How is she asking it? Would you help me out? Okay, kind hey, of. All right, I'll, I'll replay it, okay? All right. Send me, guys, okay, what you think. Send me what you think she's saying in the chat box, okay? Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I what did you say there, by the way? I am so glad you're home. Okay, she said, Rachel, I'm so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What did you say there? That right there, guys, is the request. She was wondering if she can help, help her out. Very good. Okay, good job. Okay, so she said this, guys. She said, okay, she said, she said, can you know, me she said this, you know, I was, I was wondering if you I was wondering. Very good. Okay. So she said, right. She said, <laughs> hold on. All right. So she said, you know, I was wondering if you could or can't guys, I, I forgot if she, said, if she said could or can't, whatever. If you could help me out. I was wondering if you could help me out. Now, this is a formal request, guys. I was wondering. Repeat, guys. I was wondering if. I was wondering if. Okay, all right. This is like saying, guys, me estaba preguntando si. Got it? Now, to be honest, guys, people don't say this nowadays. Like, it's really old school, you know? Es bien vieja de la vieja escuela, if you say, you know, this phrase. Okay. All right, very good. So that is the first request. Let's take a look. Let's let's see if we can find another one. Could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? What did you say? Would you mind? Would you mind? If... Would you mind? Um... So she said, would you, what? Would you mind? mind? Uh huh? If she? If she? Stay with you at home. Stay with you tonight. Tonight. All right, would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? Okay, so we have another one. Very good. All right. This is like saying, guys, in Spanish, it's like saying, te portaría si, right? There's no translation, guys. Okay, don't try to translate it, but that's, you know, the equivalent in Spanish would be, you know, te importaría si ella se queda con vos esta noche, right? Si se quedara con vos esta noche, right? Very good. All right. So let's keep listening, guys, and let's see if we catch another one. I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Oh, no, I don't mind at all. Oh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about... Hold on. All right. What was the answer that she gave her? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. What no. is the answer, guys? I don't mind at all. She said, everybody repeat, no. Repeat, no. guys, no. 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 Okay, no. I don't mind at all. Repeat, no, I don't mind at all. I don't mind. No, no I don't, I don't mind, mind at all. all. All right, that's like saying, uh, no, no, para nada, right? Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great. Uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. 
I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Anne. I will. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to show you the rest of the video, guys, because it's very long. Okay, but pretty much, guys, that's what we're going to get into tonight. Okay, we're going to go over, you know, how to make those type of requests, guys, and why we make them like, like, like that. Okay, so let's bring out the presentation, guys, so we can continue moving forward. Hold on. I lost that. There you go. Okay, guys. So, anyways. So, these are the four questions that we can make with model verbs, okay? Now, this, guys, is using only models, okay? So, repeat, guys. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Right? Would you? Guys, don't say good, okay? Don't don't say good. Good is incorrect, guys. It's would. This guys is like a oo, like an oo sound, right? Would you? Would you? It sounds like this. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Right? Would you? Right? Could you? Repeat, guys. Could you? Could you? Could you? Will you? Will. Will you repeat, guys? Will you? Will, will, will you? you? All right. Um. Can you? Can, can you? you? Can you? Good. Good. Okay. So now, guys. Um. <clears throat> so, model verbs, guys. When we request, <clears throat> you know, when we do, uh, when we make requests with model verbs, they act as, as what? Helping auxiliary. Auxiliary verbs. Okay. Because guys, they talk about, they talk about? Ability, permission, permission and asking for assistance. Exactly, okay. So for example, guys, uh, if they, they work as auxiliary, okay, they are always followed by the simple form of the verb, okay? So they're followed by the base form of the verb, okay? For example, all right, what is the first example that we got here? Could you help me for a minute, please? Very good. So, hey, uh, could you help me for a minute, please? Okay. Uh, so now, guys, when we use could you, we are being polite, okay? You're being polite. You're very, you're being very polite when you ask these questions, okay? All right? If you want to be more polite, you can use, you know, would you mind? But we're going to see those ones later, okay? All right? So these guys... So, so pretty much, guys, this is asking for help politely, okay? So could you guys, when you say could you, just asking for help politely, all right? So <clears throat> if you want to sound polite, guys, you need to use the auxiliary, not the auxiliary, guys, I'm sorry, the model would or could, all right? Plus, please, okay, if you want to be even more polite, please is optional. All right, but, but please will make you sound even more polite. And then after that, guys, because remember, models modify verbs, right? You have to use, what form of the verb do you have to use, guys? Present. You Simple have to verb. use the base form of the verb. Yes, okay. All right, so take a look at this example. Take a look at the first example. Let's see, Monica, help me read, Monica. Would you please email that document to me? Repeat, I need it ASAP. I need it ASAP. 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 Very good, thank you. So ASAP, guys, by the way, it means, ASAP means as soon as possible, okay? All right, as soon as possible. All right, so would you please email that document to me? All right, so notice, guys, that we're using the structure here to make a polite question, all right? What about the second example? Um, let's see, Adrian. Let's go, Adrian, help me read. All right, could you explain that again, please? No, no. Do not I, pronounce the I L. Didn't. Do not pronounce the L. Could, could, could. you. Yes, could you. 
Could you explain that again, please? I didn't understand. Very good. Okay. Could you explain that again, please? I didn't understand. Okay. All right. So here, guys, again, we're asking a polite question with a model plus a subject. Okay. So you follow, guys, this is this structure right here. So let's take a look at some examples. All right. Hold on. So let's talk about those two examples right there. All right, so um, so the structure, guys, you're either gonna use could plus subject, right? Or you're gonna use would plus subject, okay? Now, if you know you wanna be even more polite, you can use the word please, okay? Right, right so you can use please here, or here you can use please too, right? Then after that, what comes after this, guys? Simple verb. Okay, verb in base form, guys. Why is it in base form? ¿Por qué lo usamos en forma base? Because of the model, okay? Because of the model verb, guys, okay? Why do we use it, guys, in, in base form? Because the model verb. Because of the model verb, okay? So we have, okay, plus verb, base form. All right. Now here, guys, after this, you have a compliment, right? And question mark, by the way. All right, so you add a compliment plus question mark. All right, beautiful. So let's listen to one of your examples. Let's see, um, Rafael, okay, give me your example with could. Cool. Could you? No, no, could, no, 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 no. Could you? Could, could. you? Huh? Could you? Can I say could she, guys? Could she? Could you? Could you? Yes. Can I say could she? Let's use like could she, right? So could she? Could, could she, she what? Could she? Yeah. Help me with my homework. Could she help me with my homework? Okay, good job. Could she help me with my homework? All right, very good. Good job, uh, Rafael. Rafael Garcia, give me another example, Rafael. Would you mind drive the car? Would you? No. Okay, now now you don't use you don't need to use would you mind right now, okay? We're gonna see that later, okay? Would okay. you would you please Please drive the car. Drive the car. Good job. Okay. Would you please drive the car? All right. Uh, Francisco, give me another one. Could you please ask me again? Ask me again. Okay. Very good. All right. Super easy, right? Uh, Ricardo, give me another one. Richard. Can you explain me again, please? Can you explain me again? All right, very good. Explain it to me again. Okay, that's what we're gonna say, All right? Very good. Uh, let's see, Jenny, give me another one, Jenny. Could you, could you please speak slow? Could you please speak slow, okay? All right, uh, Patty. All right, let's uh, give me another one, Patty. Would you help me with my son? Would you help me with my son? Very good. Uh, let's see, Rodrigo Gonzalez, give me another one. Uh, would you take me my home? No, would you take me home? Take me home. Would you take me home? Okay. Very good. Uh, next one, uh, Nuri. All right, Nuri, give me another one, Nuri. Nuri, you're muted. My the teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Could you, could you give me an example, please? Very good. Could you give me an example? Very good. Okay, I like that. Uh, next one. 
the uh, Oscar Armando. Can you help me with my homework? Can you help me with my homework? Very good. All right. Haiti. Give me another example, Haiti. Haiti. Could you give me a moment? Could you give me a moment? Okay, good job. All right. Could you give me a moment, please? Notice, guys, that the word please can also be used at the end. Thank you very much for that example, Haiti. All right. Uh, let's see, guys. Who's missing? Who's missing? Ernesto. Let's go, Ernesto. Yes. Okay. Uh, could you help me to turn the television off, please? Could you help me turn off the TV? Okay. Could you help me turn off the TV, please? Turn off the TV. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Very nice examples. All right. I think I think you got this, guys. All right, is this clear, guys? Is this part clear? All right. So now yes, you know when you go when you go to right, right. You know that when you go to Pupusteria Maria, guys. Now you're gonna say, "Would you please?" Right? Could you please? Right? Pupusteria Maria in, in the United States. Right? All right. Very good. All right, guys. So. Um, now, if you want to be more casual, okay, if you don't want to be like super polite, what can you do if you want to, if you don't want to be super polite, guys? Right? What do you can mind? You Will you repeat, guys? Will you or can you? Will you, you. Or, can you. Will you or can you? All right. Will so, for example, okay, all right, who would like to help me read the first example, guys? In May, Jupiter. Yeah, go ahead. Uh huh. So, will you? Will you what? You please answer the phone. Okay. Will you please answer the phone? Okay. All right. So, will you please answer the phone, guys? Is another way. Am I? Let me ask you something, guys. Am I talking about the future? No. Okay. What do you think? Right, I have one no. Raise your hand, guys, if you think that I'm talking about the future because I'm using the model will. No, you're talking about a will. If the person wish to do it. For me, it's future, but it's, uh, it's for a short future. All right, guys, we're talking about the present. Okay. When we use will you please, guys, all right, this is talking about the present, not the future, the present, okay? It's just an informal, a casual way of asking for a request. Will you is the same as saying can you, all right? This is a will you sounds a little bit more rude, actually, you know? But can you and will you talk about, talk about the? Present. Present, yeah, present, guys. Okay, all right. So they talk about the present. Okay. Don't forget that. Okay. Very good, guys. So uh, do my favor, guys. I need everyone to send me one example in the chat, guys. Uh, using will you? Actually, just will you? Okay. Let's just will you. All right. Just, just you get used to that. All right. One example, guys. One example in the chat. All right. Let's go. All right. Send me one example, guys. All right, Adrian, will you lend me some money? No. <laughs> but good job, Adrian. Good example. Good example, uh -huh. man. <laughs> Right. Will you lend me some money? Is like you know. Can you lend me some money, right? Um, let's see. Will you please bring me food? Bring me my food. Very good, Rafael. Will you turn off the TV? Very good. Will you get out of? Will you get out? No, that's that's incorrect, Ricardo. Will you get your? Will you take your dog out? Take out. That's 
take your dog outside? Okay. Will you take your dog outside? All right. Uh, Rodrigo, will you play with me? Very good. Will you please help me to do my homework? Okay. Will you please buy the food? Will you bet five dollars for the selecta? <laughs> um, that's two, not four. Two. To la selecta, okay? No, I think they're gonna lose. Uh, Monica, would you pay the bills this month? Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Will you please play with my pet? All right. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Right. That's very good. All right. So that's that's how you make you know more casual requests. Okay, right. So let's do this exercise, guys. Okay, I have an exercise for you here, and then I'm gonna teach you how to make some other types of requests. Okay, so I'm gonna send you these guys to the WhatsApp group right now. All right, and let's start working on them. So you have what you have to do, guys. Is you have to use, you know, you have to choose the right, uh, the right model, okay, or the right way of making the question politely, right? Any questions so far, guys? No, teacher. All right, very good. So I sent it to the WhatsApp group, guys. Let's go ahead and get together and let's start working on it. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. We, we can say May. May you June. Say, you don't say, you don't say, you guys, that's another thing. You do not use you you do not use the pronoun you with may, okay? That sounds really bad. You don't you don't say may you, okay? Uh, keep very good very good question, okay? Thank you for bringing that up. All right, you don't say may you guys, okay? All right, uh, uh, it is possible, guys, but it, it doesn't sound it, people don't don't say it, okay? All right, hold on, guys. Uh, I'm looking for you, Jenny, because you have two computers, right? I mean, two devices. Hold on. All right. And there you go, guys. Let's go. Nice, Nuri. Let's let's do it. It says, "I speak to Mr. Smith." No. Ah, we need to choose one of them. What do you say, Nuri? Let me see. I'm looking right now. Okay. I speak to Mr. Smith. Please call me. Um. Teacher, but, me, we, but we have here May. Go ahead. Just as an option, right? That's an option. But it yes. doesn't, but you but say, it doesn't uh, mean is the is a good one. Guys, I said I said it sounds incorrect to use May you. Oh, May you. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. May I is good, right, teacher? Yes, yes, you can say may I, yes. Okay, so number one is may. Number two, what do you say, Nuri? Uh, cool, could you? Cool. That's right, cool could you. Could you open the window? Could you? Could you? Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Okay, number three. Number three. Um, will you buy two loaves of bread on your way home? Will you? Don't you think? Um, what does love mean? Hmm? What does love mean? The meaning? Uh, what is actually, what? I'm sorry. It's like a love number three. Loaves of bread. Uh huh. What does it mean? Google Loops. it. Google it. If I give you the answer, you're going to forget it. Okay. Nice. okay. Well, later. <laughs> ah, no, you're not going to remember then. Google it. Yes, I'm going to do it right now. I can. I can. I have you on my phone. Forget. Could you spell it to me, please? Okay. L? -E. No. But with Barbara. If I will borrow your dictionary, it sounds like will borrow, will the number three, right? Will the number borrow. three, uh huh. Will borrow. It's the polite request. Okay. Number five, would you mind if I come to your party? Would you mind if I didn't want wouldn't? Would Asking mind? for permission. Would you mind? Uh, I didn't. If I want, if I wouldn't, uh, no, no. Would you mind if I didn't come? Didn't come to your party? Didn't uh, the first. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Didn't. Didn't. Number. I do like the another sentence. Chair. It's, it's more polite to say, would you mind if, or only would you? Would you mind if is more polite. It's more polite. But if you want to, to request a, uh, something that is, I don't know, uh, difficult, it's more common to use. Would you mind if, if or only would you? Or can you? No. Um, would you mind is, is is more polite, right? Would you do this is more impolite, and then you know, would you? Uh, can you do this? You know, it's like way more impolite. So it goes like that. You know, it has a degree of politeness. You know. So. So yeah. Uh, so the the most you know the most polite way of saying this is would you mind if? Uh, would you mind if? Mm -hmm. Uh, the first. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what sentence you're reading, but I'm just answering your question, right? That uh, is the most polite. The most polite. Yes. Good job, guys. So, how are you doing, guys? Good. Uh, I great. start the number four. You what? The number four. The exercise. Four. Oh, okay, right. You're doing number four. Okay. Yes. Good, good, good. Would you mind? But I think that this uh, will would borrow. Will uh, borrow. Well, I don't know. What I do you think? think? <laughs> yes, For I me, think that this will will borrow. borrow. I will borrow your dictionary for an hour or so. I think it's will borrow. Okay. The number four. Hi guys, how are you doing here? I'm talking about the number three because the verb is used in the gerund. It's not in the simple form. I more comfortable use, would you mind budging two loves of bread? All right. Yeah, would you mind him? Would, Would you mind buying two loaves of to love bread? A bread are you All right. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, Jules. 
that's the schedule. Okay. Um, so how are we doing here, guys? Yeah, we are doing the four exercise number four. Would right. you mind if I borrow your dictionary for an hour or so? Okay. Borrow, not borrow. 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 All right, would you mind if I borrow your dictionary? Borrow. Okay. okay. Um, borrow. All right, very good. Well, the other one is. Well, no, there are only six. This is number six, yes. Uh, we finished. You finished? Yes. Yeah. All right, right on. Okay, thank you. Constancia? No, 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 no. All right, we're going to go right, back now, you. guys. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the answers. All right. Okay, guys, so answer for number one. Okay, so what do we got for number one? May I speak? Okay, so may I speak? Very good, okay. Yeah, good may job, I good job, okay, right. Number two, guys, what's number two? Could you? Could you, very good, okay. Could you open the window, please? Okay, polite request, okay, good job. Uh, number three. Will would you, you mind? Would you mind? Fine, very good, okay. We haven't talked about it yet, guys, but good good, good job, okay. Uh, would you mind if I? If I buy. If I what? If I will borrow? No. Only borrow in the present form? Borrowed. Present form. borrowed. Uh, number four. Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary for an hour or so? The reason why, guys, this is not talking in the past, okay? This is talking in the present, okay? We're using here, guys, the past uh, because this is an unreal, it's it's basically, you know, a, the structure of the request, guys, okay? All right. Uh, would you mind if I? One. Nope. If I didn't, didn't, didn't come to your party, okay? Again, guys, okay. if you if you use would you mind if you have to use the verb in the past, okay? We're gonna see that. We're gonna see that soon, okay? Ya lo vamos a ver, right? Mrs. Redding, what's the answer here? Could you? Not cool, guys. Could. Could. Could, could you? Could you? Very good. Could you could lend you. me two hundred dollars? Till next week okay please very good good job guys well done real well done okay so here guys so now this is what you were asking okay but before the guys guys did you have any question here i'm sorry did you have any question regarding the exercise are we good no. the All right. part where what? very good so listen guys these these uh expressions are used to talk about to make more polite requests okay we use them to what, guys? We use to them make for what? More polite. Okay, we use them to for, you know, for making polite. more polite requests, okay? So, for example, guys, when we use do you mind if, right? Do you mind if subject, I do you mind if, you know, if I, okay, now here, guys, all right, uh, let's say verb in the past, okay? All right, could I, all right, could I borrow? Now here, all right, with could guys, you're gonna use the verb in the present, okay? So let's do this, okay, all right? So this is the verb in the present, okay? Would it be okay if I, all right? And then we go back to the original structure, guys, okay? So for example, guys, all right? With do you mind, all right, you say, 
do you mind if I, now I'm sorry, with do you mind guys, you're gonna use the verb in the present, okay? Do you mind if I borrow your book, for example, right? If you say would, all right, would you mind if guys, would you mind if, you have to use the verb in the past, right? If I borrowed your book, okay? All right, now which one guys do you think is more polite? Do you mind or would you mind? Do you mind? All right, and actually guys, actually uh, both of these are equally polite, okay? I would say, you know, would you mind is a little bit more polite, a little bit more polite than do you mind, okay? But most of them guys are equally, equally um, polite, okay? Now, if you say could I, all right, could I or could you, right? Could I, you're gonna use the verb, okay? Could I, so the example here would be, could I, could I what, guys? You give me the example. Could I what? Could I? Eat a pizza. Could I eat a pizza? Very good, okay? Oh my God, now you, you got me hungry, okay? Very good. Uh, <laughs> would it be okay if, what about would it be okay if, would it be okay if everybody repeat? Would it be okay if? Would it be okay, would it be okay, okay if? if? Okay. All right. Now you have to follow the structure that we got up there. Okay. The verb has to be in the past. Okay. So would it be okay if if what? Would it be okay if I leave the meeting now? If I left. Ah, okay. All right. That's I the, just, the past. The meeting now. All right, no, that wouldn't be okay, all right? Very good. Uh, okay, what about would you mind if, okay? Give me an example with would you mind if, guys. Would, would you mind, mind if? if I joined you? Okay, would you mind if I joined you? Joined you, not join you, right? Joined you. Very joined good, you. would you mind if I joined you, all right? All right, and the past, right? Very good. Now, guys, there are other ways of making requests, okay? You can say, now, this one, guys, to be honest, people do not talk like this, okay? People talk like this in movies, you know, in the 70s and the 80s, okay? But they do not talk like this, like, nowadays, right? It's like, kind of like old English, you know? Oh, I was wondering, you know, it's like, I don't know who, you know, says, I was wondering, you know? All right, so, anyways, so, you can say, guys, I wonder if and you follow this structure okay so for example you can say you can say let's see i i wonder if she i is, wonder if she uh -huh. is thinking if she is thinking of me okay, if, okay? She, if she is thinking about me yeah you can say this right i, I wonder if she's thinking about me i wonder if she likes me i wonder if she uh she loves me <laughs> it's every day <laughs> don't reveal your secrets man all right so uh all right so <laughs> i'm kidding all right very good so it, what, with, with, i wonder if guys you can use whatever you want in the in the end okay i wonder if plus the subject and then a verb okay all right Richard, one question tell me in the do you mind if we can we can use in third person do you mind if uh, adrian comes to the game that's perfect adrian comes to the game do you mind if adrian comes to the game yes that is perfect okay that is very good yeah guys i mean that's that's what it says guys subject you know okay because you can substitute it with whatever other subjects you want okay now when you say, I was wondering if, you know, I was wondering if, you can say like this, I was wondering if uh, you could, see, now here, guys, you're going to use the subject plus a model. I was wondering if you could come to my party. See, I was wondering if, right, you can also say, I wonder if you can come to my party. So basically, guys, after, after these, um, after these 
expressions, you can use this, guys, okay? All right? Sounds good, guys? Okay. All right. We're Very good. good. All right. Very good. So I have an exercise for you. I have actually two exercises here, okay? I want you to complete them, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. But before that, okay, before – Actually, no, you know what? Let's let's do them right now, okay? If we have time. I, it's just that I want to review, guys, the, the midterm and the section number three. Guys, have we all completed section number three and the midterm? To be honest with you, I I, I, I don't. Me too. I, I actually in the, the 3.4. Very good. The, the reason I'm asking that is because we're going to see the answers today, okay? So... Uh, very, Go ahead, no problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, guys, uh, let's get to work. Again, I'm gonna couple you up, guys. And are you sure you don't have any questions on what we're gonna do? Are we good? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Read the instructions, guys. Teacher, the picture. I'm sending it right now. Okay. All right, that's the first one. I'm sorry, that's, that's, is that the second one or the first? No, that's the first one, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send you the second one too. Okay. All I'll right. Fill it in the gaps. We have to use the, 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 the words, right? To fill it in the- Yes, the words the that you have, okay. the words that you have on top yes okay okay go ahead okay. mark would you mind sending um does it make attachment again would, would you mind you said right yeah mm, no but it's it needs to be on the boxes you need to use chain thing can give and shoot. Yes. My, ah, all right. Exactly. It's, it's mine, right? Yes. Mine. Okay. So. That's you really do mine? Okay, that's good. Would you, would you mind that, that? That'll be okay. The other do one we, I did. Do we, do we understand what we're doing now, guys? You have to use the, the words that, that you have in the, in, um, in the boxes, okay? Yeah, re read the dialogue and fill in the gaps. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, okay. I just said, Mark, would you uh, mind sending those email attachments again? I think it is good. Mark. Uh, okay. The next mark of number no number five. <laughs> number five. Chance. You could work late tonight. I Hi, teacher. Hey, what, what happened? Uh, <laughs> you look suspicious. Yeah, we are in this queue because uh, we have not chosen the second what? the second sentences. It's, of course not. I yeah, because in the, in the first day, as uh, he asked him sending again the, the email. So what is your question? I don't get it's it. Simple. Nicole uh, is request for sending a, the, the email. And Mark said, of course not. It's a negative uh, answer. No, it's not negative. First, not is negative. Yes. 
If you say, of course not, it's negative. Claro que no, I lo enviaría, lo enviaré ahorita mismo. Yes, but I mean, it's negative, but it's actually, how can I explain this to you guys? It's like saying, mm -hmm. guys, he's answering, would you mind? Or que te importaría si? Y él está diciendo, no, claro que no, dale. Got it? Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Right? Ah, oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Right. Mm -hmm. good, guys? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. I still, yes, teacher. I still have them. You're I happy? Am... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm really tired, but. Me estoy durmiendo. Don't worry, only nine minutes, okay? Okay. okay. All right. It's not. I will do it now. In my opinion, Thank of course Thank not. You. I will see you later. Go and do oh. it now. Curse. Yes. Curse. Yes. This is the end of the line. This is the end of the line. Yeah, of course. Thank yes. You. My opinion, though. <laughs> okay, number three. Um, Thank you. See you later. Thank you. See you later. Oh, no, Ben. Are you busy? No, I'm at the moment. No, no, at the moment. Yeah. No. At the moment. Mark, can I help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Yes. Ken is the number three. What do you think? That's okay. Okay. You are doing good. Go ahead. Okay, good, guys? Yes, teacher. All right, great. Right. Sure. Thing. I don't know. No. no mine at all. No mine at all, right? No, no mine. No, but you, mine is it the number one. Mm. No like. No mine at all. Mine lo pusimos in the in the number one. Yes. Mark, would you? On the light. Would you? Um, no, sorry. No. No. Mark, would you? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's number number eleven. Eleven. Do you think you could give me a raise? Sí. Yes. Could you sing? Sing, okay. E number twelve. I a lot, but you only working here a month. Ask me again in three months. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So, guys, uh, if you haven't finished, please finish home. Uh, I need to go over the platform right now, guys. If you have questions, okay. So, I'm on. Um, I'm in section number three right now, guys. Do you have any questions about section number three? Is there any? I'm not finished the number three. No, yeah. I haven't, not I know, I haven't finished. I right. haven't finished the, the number two and the three. Hey, do me no. a favor guys, that is super important. I actually need you to finish number three, number two, three and the midterm today, okay? So uh, please guys, All right? Send me screenshots too, okay? All right, so, but but we're finished guys, okay? Uh, do you need help guys? Is there any? question from here that you need help with mm, yes i i have gone but it's a uh, for number two is okay. the, what is it um uh, is knowledge check uh unscramble the germ phrases and there is the third one it which says one? which sure? one we have very how ah, which yes one? is 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.4 Point four, this, okay. And then the number three. Uh, there you go. Says 
pretty difficult making a living as an artist could be. I have tried so many different I'm, ways and I'm, I can't. I'm giving you the answer right now. Okay, just, just take a screenshot. Guys, remember that you have to make sure that you're using capital letters and that you're using periods at the end. Okay, all right. So all of these are accepted answers, you know, supposedly, right? So just let me try. See? So it worked, right? Uh, we can only... All right. Got it, Santos? Um, maybe I just. Sure. Right, did, you, did, did you take a screenshot? I didn't. No. All right, take a, I all right, Santos, we don't have time. I need to leave him soon, all right? Could you please take a screenshot? I need a please. screenshot for the 3.4. <laughs> Okay, all right. Santos, we good? Uh, yes. All right, thank you. It's just, guys, I have another class. That's why I'm rushing. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, Richard, I'm sorry, one question. I, I'll, I'll do it as, as you say tonight, but only one question because I received from Mr. Forbes that the that, that, uh, uh, section number three in the midterm, we have to October 8, but you're the boss, you're the man. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it says October 8th is tomorrow, guys. I mean, so, I mean, you can do it tomorrow, guys, but I will, I want you to do it today, right? So, you okay, know, okay, right? okay, so, okay. You can do it tomorrow, guys, of course, all right? Anyway, so Thanks. three, three point what? Four, three point four, okay. There you go. Got it. Now, if Thank you haven't you. done this, guys, try to do it first, right? Because the, the whole purpose is for you to learn. All right, and then, yeah. and then you can see this, right? Okay, all right, anybody else, guys? What about the midterm? Not for this moment. Midterm, yeah, the midterm. The midterm, do you, have, do you have questions about the midterm? No, no questions, okay. All right, if you do, guys, just send a message to the whole group, okay? And I'll try to see what we can do, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, okay, did we learn something new today? Yep. All right, yes. very good, guys. Good, good, good. All right, guys, uh, so we have our third week next week, guys, okay? So please join. And also, guys, be on time, because you see now, I, I started the class, guys, almost as soon as everybody, you know, as soon as, as we start here, right? So like at 8.03, you know, we have already started the class, right? So try to join a little bit earlier, guys, so you don't miss anything. And anyways, if you need anything, guys, you know, if you uh, have issues connecting or something, right, just just, just send a message, guys, and we'll see what we can do, okay? Other than that, guys, thank you very much, guys. I will see you on Monday. Enjoy, guys. Go rest. Have uh, have you. some good sleep, guys. Thank, thank you, David. Dream with Chayam. <laughs> see you. See you guys. Good night. El Salvador, El Salvador is winning. Hey, nice. El Salvador is winning, guys. There you go. I bet you guys. five dollars. <laughs>